We were once mankind. We were humanity. And now, we're no more than pests. Vermin. They came here to exterminate us. They took our history and culture. They covered our landmarks in dying humanity. The wail of the dying carried for miles. They're building some kind of breeding facility for those that survive. People that have defected say it's worse than hell. Humans becoming some kind of surrogate incubators for the alien young. They killed us in waves when they first arrived. They built these mega structures that spew methane, manufacturing their atmosphere. They've sown their crops, snuffing out our plant life, raising the global temperature, causing our cities to flood. They waged war on Earth. They set fire to our forests. It's already hard to breathe. Impossible to breathe if you are close to the stacks. Rats. Insects.
Every once in a while, something goes our way. Just one in a thousand. Just enough to keep fighting. A glimmer of hope. People will pay for this. They always do. Even for small victories, it seemed that everything was lost. Humanity would soon cease to exist. The new world altered everyone. Adapt or die, it was as simple as that. In the old world, Nash would have been locked up. A pyromaniac, a bomb maker. But here, he not only survived, he thrived. your help you know that yeah everything has a price and we can pay you for sure mm. hey Jasper. i'm glad these fucking things came here they mean that i get to burn whatever i see every day every night no laws no fucking jails the fire fire what is it with you the fucking fire fire and perish in the fire someday. You say you need my help for what? For a fucking hope for things to go back to the way they were. <laughs> just give me, give me some bait. Some bait? I just need some bait. Some of your people, some of your people. Some of the, the sick, you don't need them. Two seconds away from blowing this motherfucker's head off. Oh, it'd be so good. So much fun. Just a little more. Give me some bait. Give me some bait. It'll make the boom bigger. I'll take out an entire convoy that'll help you, right? I have enough ordnance to make this fire breathe. Hi, hi. You're an interesting person, Nash. Have fun in the fire. Oh, I will. <laughs> Some sick people in exchange for Nash's item. In peacetime, such an offer would be insane. Immoral. But now, anything's possible. Ma'am, we've done everything we can. He's not responding. All right, let's go. We picked up Amir in Sector 7. At first, they thought he was dead. 
some refuse from one of their experiments. Amir? Amir! Amir. Hey. I'm not gonna hurt you. Look at me. You can help us. Kill him. Just fucking kill him. All that shit they put in his head, he's not even one of us. Stop! Anymore. I'm not gonna hurt you. I know what they did. I give you food. You do me a favor. This world had changed all of us. But Amir had been reborn. As something entirely new. all these men. They're going out to fight. To try to make it how it was before. To stop those beasts from doing more of this. What is it with her and that fucking thing? Her daughter is gone. Everyone's daughter is gone. The ones that are experimented on, who survive, are the very few. Her theory is it's because they have some kind of predisposition. They're savants of some kind. And Amir is like that. These men are trying to stop the genocide. Alpha team, move out! to sacrifice themselves.
Tell me what futures you see. Threat down. All right, everyone, triple check those brain locks. I don't want anyone looking at it. And keep out of its line of sight, right? what they did to you they do experiments all day and all night they tear people apart it's wounded that fucking thing don't let it get away millions die no one lives not through that Every once in a while, a miracle happens. One in 10 million like you. Someone who somehow survives. Their cruelty. Those things have given you an amazing power. A gift. Beyond man. Don't look at it! Look away! You can do the things they do. Put it down, Martinez! Put it down! Don't do it, Martinez! Don't do it! Thank you. 